Hey, what's up guys? Robbie86er. Um, today, I'm bringing back, uh, I'm going to do a Brasilva squad. Since we've got this uh, daily knockout tournament, which is only silver requirements. You can only use silver players or players below silver. I thought, why not go throwback to FIFA 13 and do a Brasil Brasilva sit team. Um, I'm just going to run through the team um, quick and then we'll get into the gameplay. Look who we've got here. Gabriel, former AC Milan reserve keeper, I think he was. Let's see how good I am. Gallo, let's see how many names he's I butchered. Pretty decent, 79 pace. There wasn't many options, but he, he looks okay enough for a silver. And we got L. Eel? Eel. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, 68 pace, so decent pace for centre backs, decent defending, good physical. He'll do. Antonio, 65 pace and solid defending and solid physical. Uh, Abri Abrian, Abria. I know. I know. You used to play for. I know. You used to, he's, he's either on loan. Um, he's either on loan from Real Madrid or he's been sold from. Or he used to play from anyway. For Real Madrid defending because I used to trade on him last year in FIFA 17 loads. Um, Elton, everyone, everyone knows about him. Absolute. Um, Beast, rapid, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing, all that, all that nice stuff. He should be OP as it comes. Um, William, solid all-round player. I thought I want that high, high work rate, box-to-box -box player, and I thought he suits the bill nicely. Picked these up last week, super cheap, so I, I imagine they've risen in price as well. Mendes, rap, really good pacer, uh, silver, good, good dribbling, good pass. It's just another solid all-round with exceptional pace. Aminito? No, not sure on that. Amazing pace, what you want, what you're looking for in good Brasilvas. Um, good dribbling, good shooting, decent physical. Marianjo? Martianto? Oh, whatever his name is. He's fast, he's got good dribbling, he's got good shooting. He'll do. Um, Fabrisa? Fabris? Great, great, great pa great pace, uh, great dribbler. The rest of it's a bit mad, but he'll do. Two star weak foot could be a bit of a problem, but that's the team. Um, and let's get into the game. And we're back, and let's see what team we're coming up against um, today. We've got a couple of the Milan striker. Got that um, left back from Napoli. Played. He used to be a, a, a OP gold um, back in the day. And um, it knocks the knocking the ball out here from a goal kick, which is what I tend to do quite often. Even knock it up to the left or to the right, it tends to keep possession. He's so now I've only just started doing this year, but it helps so often. And it's already starting to attack here, getting down the line, knocking it across. And um, Fabrice is there to knock it in and put us one 0 up in the in the opening game. Um, this was a super um, easy game for me. Um, I'm going to spoil this game. I think it ended 7-3, I think it did. Something like that. Um, but it was... For long periods, it, I was always in control in control of this game. But for long periods, um, until, I actually, until I put my foot down, started becoming super clinical and taking my chances better than he did. But as you'll see here, um, is this where he scores? I think it's this is where he scores. Yeah, this is the one. Gets in, draws, and it's an absolute banging shot from just above penalty area into the into the top corner and puts it back one all straight and almost an in instant reply to my uh, me taking the lead. But we managed to um, find ourselves a bit of space um, down this left hand side, do a little bit of trickery, work our way into the box, knock it across to, to, the, to the top of the box to Elton. Elton doing a little bit of work gets tackled. But we managed to win it back, knocking it back to Elton. Elton running at him, knocking it off for Mendes. Mendes hits it, scores. 2 1. Back in the driving seat. Also, we fought for so long. Let's see how long we can keep in the driving seat. Because you're about to see, he, he scores straight back at me. I don't know what I don't know what I'm what I'm doing in this opening game. Maybe it's because it was I was recording at seven o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. I was still half asleep. Oh no! Oh, do I? Do I? Does he? No, I score. Oh my god, I score. <laughs> oh yeah, win a penalty. That was it. Should have probably watched this beforehand, but I didn't. Get a penalty here, and 
I've been working on my penalties. I have. I've been trying to, because so many of them I've missed the target. So I thought I put a little less power on, make sure I hit the target with them. So he haven't got that. So I just knock it here to the to the left. It's enough to the left where if he stays down the centre, he's not going to save. It's going to look like an idiot stood there, which has happened so often for me. And then the other one I do is where I knock it with two bars of power straight down the centre. They think I'm going powerful to one of the sides and they always dive. Or even if they stay in the middle, sometimes it just rattles above straight into the roof of the net and it'll go in anyway. But get a little bit unlucky there to um, concede an equaliser there. Gets a little deflection off my, um, my man, but we quickly sort that problem out 20 minutes or so later with um, William playing the ball into Fabrice, who goes down for a yet another penalty to test to test my penalty taking abilities <laughs> well I'm shocking at penalties but we're going to test them again and this is what I was talking about where um, here we go charge ups two bars of power lift it up a little bit bang roof of the net sit makes goalkeeper sit down on his arse and there's Faris or whatever his name is giving it to Elton Elton sliding that into the post but he's there to tap in the rebound and puts it 5-3 at this point I was all over him I was out he was he was rattled I thought I thought I could be getting a rage quit, but no, he hung in there. Fair play to him. He hung in there, tried to get his, his way back into it, and I thought he did there. He almost did, but it was offside. I was like, thank God, because if he got that one, I thought I was always thought I was going to win. I was comfortable in the game. It was just my sloppy defending, and as soon as I tightened that up, I knew there was only one winner, and I did tighten that up. Getting in here with Wan Wan Anderson, is it? Who knocks it across for? Fabrice hits it against it, hits it against the goalkeeper. Elton's there to slap it home into the into the back of the net to make it 6-3. And now we get to see if I can actually remember the scoreline from this game. Because <laughs> there should be a clip here for 7-3. And here it is, yes, I got it right. And he just caught him on the counter-attack. He's pushing all his men forward. He's all out of attack. Super easy goal. Far aiming it up to the far corner. Nice and easy. Top bins. No, no problem. And we get a nice easy win where it was super comfortable. Even though it went three all, it was it was a comfortable game. It was an enjoyable game. It was just end to end. And it's so many of my games are like that where there'll be four or five goals at minimum in each game. Cause I just love to I, I don't sit there playing part of the bus. I'll never do that. You've got and then I see this team here we're coming up against. It's just sort of like a mishmash team with um it's it looks like the sort of team where he's just gone into his club. I'll just slap a load of players together and then we'll see how they go. And he, he started off quite evenly and then we get this free kick um, on the left hand side. Technique I've been work I've been looking to do to, to do for the last couple of weeks is sort of like I always used to cross them or play them short but never really used to come to anything. So I've been looking for ways to try and um, exploit um, those situations where you get the wide free kicks and there's not corners, they're not can't really shoot from them. So what I've started doing is um, aiming for what's usually with my main my, uh, mega team. I've got Dennis Burkamp there, so I'll knock it to him on the edge of the box, take a touch, and he always gets a shot in, and he scored so many goals from that. And that's mm, even if even if it makes the small differences in the tight games, it might, it's worth it's another thing to add to your arsenal. But in the end, we won we won this game three 0 comfortably. Nothing. Ne he was never really in it. It was a, it was a cruising game. Cruised through this one. I've started to wake up by this point, I had, and the team was playing super nice. I was starting to feel feel it out, work out how to play it. Hmm. Did I miss a goal there? I think I missed a goal there. Because I only said three. No, oh, I'm just being stupid. Doesn't matter. This is the fun you get when you're recording postcom live as well. And then we come up against um, this um, sort of Turkish team, and I was thinking, bye bye, I'm out. Hat coat out the door because he's clearly put his time and he's put effort into this. He's thought about this team. It's not just a random team. This is an absolute solid meta silver team, and I'm up again. He's bound to be good if he's making a team like this. He, he's he's out to win it. He's not out for a laugh to play it. And I get off to the most worst start in the 15th minute. I can see the goal. Uh, it was a soft goal to concede. Could have avoided it. I just needed to tuck my spread my two centre backs out a little bit more, and it would have helped avoid that. But 
under Underhill scores for him to make it 1-0 and puts me under in real pressure and a real threat of going out. But Gallo gets down the right-hand side here. He was fantastic. For some with 79 base, he's brilliant. Knocking it, feeding it into my um, striker who has a shot. And a bit of luck. Nice little rebound goal. Oh, get him. I'll take it. Doesn't matter. And we get it back to 1-1. Now, it's like, serious, got to turn this around. William plays it into Fabrice, into Elton. Elton, out to Martinho, who has a shot and scores right into that far right-hand corner of the net. And then we go 2-1. And from then on, there was only one winner. I, I um, put my foot on the gas. I created more chances. Gallo, again, getting down this line, causing all sorts of problems. Having a shot, let him rip. Gets a deflection off the off the defender, takes it into the net, and that puts it 3-1. And we're cruising now. We're, we're enjoying playing FIFA. It's Everything's good. We're having fun. And we he slaps it across the box, giving it to Mendes. Mendes gets a shot unbelievably saved off the line. That was one hell of a clearance, but my striker's there to tap it home for me. And we get another, yes, we get another. Mendes with the ball in midfield, playing it to my, playing it to my strike, who gets her on goal. A little finesse under the goalkeeper. 5-1. Is that enough to make this guy quit? No, it is not. He carries on. This guy is a trooper. He's not messing. He doesn't do rage quits. He's carrying on. He's going for it. Does he score a kickoff goal here? I'm sure he does, yes. <laughs> And it, oh, that was, uh, just looking back on that when I'm actually looking at it, that was a bit a bit lucky by him and a, maybe the goalkeeper could have done better. But it's 5-2, nobody really cares. And you think there's not time for another one. There is. There's time for another one. Does a nice little bit of work, getting past two defenders. Top of the box, bang. Top left-hand corner. And that, my friends, was finally enough for this guy to rage quit. He finally had enough. I don't know why th this four goal difference is different to the 5-1 goal difference goal scores but it was enough he'd seen enough in this and in the 60th 62nd minute he said bye bye he was out of here he did enough i don't blame him i would have done exactly the same thing hat trick from a striker two go two goal what well, goal either from a wing gallo was amazing he for someone who was i think he's only got 75 pace in his car he was so quick getting down that lightning timing his runs really well linking up nicely and um, was a fantastic out outlay for so many goals that you'll sit you've you seen you'll see all that stuff and we arrive now in the final and we see this team we've got the blooming saudi arabia blooming um um left hand side the blooming silver blooming strike the no the brazilian strike force and then you've got the blooming dyke myers and that op all that op goodness in the right back side this team was as good as silver teams get and it was such a tight game this could have gone either way if he'd have won i would have had no complaints if i'd have won he can have no complaints it was such a close game so it's a shame that one of us had to win and we start off brilliantly with elton getting in there and really a good finish early on which was vital um, what does he pause it for? Do we make a change here? No, I don't think we make a change. Should we just wait for him? And um, I don't know why I've kept this in there. Mistake on editing. I've messed it up already. But Elton was an absolute um, top player. He's so small. Though. You can't understand how small he is. He makes Messi look tall. He's that small. But a fantastic little finish into that far left-hand corner. And this is a mistake here he makes. He rushes his short corner, should have waited or, or, or pre-done it before like I do. But he's made a mistake and then it's three on it's three on two and he's in all sorts of pain. He doesn't know which way I'm going. Run comes up here. Mendes drags it across, to the, takes it across one more step to the right-hand side. And the goalkeepers, at silver goalkeepers, that's slow. They can't um, get across to cover it as you'll see here with this angle. So it pushes it across and it's basically an open goal from there. And it's that little sort of broken shooting mechanics that, that help. But he does get it back to 2-1 and he makes it such a difficult uh, second half. I was hanging on. I was doing everything I could to hang on. It was in the final. There was pressure on. He played so well. There were so many times in, the se in that second half where Gabriel saved my ass. Ultimately, he had a few times where I could have gone 3-1 up. But it could have gone either way. And, it, and here we go, here's the full time whistle and we're about to win the game win and win the daily knockout tournament, win that um, 7.5k pack, 2,000 coins with my superstar Brasilva team, it was absolutely different class 
I can't believe how oh, it was. It was so fun. It was. It was like a throwback to FIFA 13. That's that's it. But anyway, I hope you. I hope you enjoy. We're going to now go um, into the live section where I'll talk again about how good. I'll show you the um, stats on the players. So that is it, guys. We ended up winning it. First time of asking. Absolutely buzzing. Didn't expect to. Had so much fun with this team. Absolutely. <laughs> it really does um, bring back like the old memories of uh, playing um, FIFA 13 with all them crazy Brasilva teams you could do. Um, this The final was such a tough, tough game. I've, I've probably said it in the post combat. But I've got to repeat it, it was such a tough game. Uh, such a close game. The rest of the games weren't really that close, but this was super close. Just going to go through the team and see who did the business for me. Let's see the final stats on all the players, just quick. Goalkeeper didn't do anything, he was brilliant, he was. One assist from him, two, two, two goals, one assist from a centre-back. How the heck did that happen? No idea. Don't ask. Nothing from him. <laughs> Nothing from him. Elton was absolute different class. Six goal contributions from a centre mid. One from William. Not as good as I was hoping. F Mendes. Four goal contributions. Five goal contributions from Amlito. Um, three from him. That guy. That guy was he was good. <laughs> Nine gold contributions as you see in the clip. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If we can hit five likes, forty views, that ain't my day. I've been Robbie 826 and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.